He is known for his influential role as a violinist, composer, and teacher. He honed his skills under renowned instructors, including David Ridley Cohn and Jacob Don't. Leopold Auer achieved great success in his musical career. In the heart of Hungary, a young boy named Leopold Auer was born into a modest Jewish family in Vesprem on June 7, 1845. Growing up, Auer's passion for music was ignited when he began studying the violin with a local concertmaster. Despite their financial struggles, his parents recognized the potential in their son and supported his musical endeavors. Auer's talent soon caught the attention of music enthusiasts, who generously provided him with a scholarship to continue his studies in Vienna. Under the guidance of his teacher Jacob Don't and attending quartet classes with Joseph Helmsberger Sr., Auer's violin skills flourished. At just 13 years old, he embarked on a journey to launch his career alongside his father. Their path was not without obstacles, as auditions and performances in Graz and Paris proved unsuccessful. Determined to succeed, Auer sought the advice of Joseph Joachim, the royal concertmaster in Hanover. This meeting became a turning point in his career, as he gained exposure to the world of German music making, which emphasized musical values over virtuosic showmanship. As Auer's reputation grew, he had the opportunity to meet and learn from renowned musicians. Summertime brought him to the spa village of Wiesbaden, where he crossed paths with violinist Henrik Wieniawski and pianist brothers Anton and Nicholas Rubinstein. These encounters provided Auer with valuable informal instruction and deepened his understanding of music. Additionally, his time in Vienna allowed him to witness performances by notable violinists such as Henri Vuxtemps, Antonio Bazzini, and Ferdinand Laub. With his talent recognized, Auer was invited to perform as a soloist with the Leipzig Gewandhaus Orchestra, conducted by Felix Mendelssohn's friend, Ferdinand David. Leipzig, at the time, held great significance in the music world, surpassing even Berlin and Vienna. This success opened doors for Auer, leading to his appointment as concertmaster in Dusseldorf at just 19 years old. He later attained the same position in Hamburg while also pursuing his passion for chamber music as the leader of a string quartet. In May and June of 1868, Auer embarked on a series of concerts in London, where he showcased his virtuosity alongside pianist Anton Rubinstein and cellist Alfredo Piatti in a performance of Beethoven's Archduke Trio. This further cemented Auer's status as a brilliant violinist. In the early 1900s, the Jewish community in St. Petersburg thrived, even though it was located outside of the restricted Jewish Pale of Settlement in Russia. It was here that a young boy named Jaska became a student of the renowned music teacher, Leopold Auer. Jaska was only 10 or 11 years old at the time, but Auer saw in him a remarkable talent. Under Auer's guidance, Jaska not only honed his musical skills, but he also received a comprehensive education that extended beyond music. Auer believed in shaping his students' personalities, teaching them style, taste, and musical breeding. He encouraged them to read books, guided their behavior and career choices, and even polished their social graces. Auer knew that to succeed in an international career, his students needed to be well-rounded individuals. Even after his students started their careers, Auer continued to watch over them like a proud father. He wrote countless letters of recommendation to conductors and concert agents, helping them secure important opportunities. He went above and beyond for his students, traveling to London to coach Misha Elman as he prepared for his debut there. Auer also continued to work with other students like Evram Zimbalist and Kathleen Parlow, providing ongoing support and guidance. Leopold Auer's influence on Jaska and his other students extended far beyond music. He instilled in them a sense of discipline, a love for learning, and a drive for excellence. Auer's dedication to his students' success and his unwavering belief in their potential made him not just a teacher, but a mentor and a father figure. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.